Have you wondered how you can run a R program into PyCharm? So in today's video, we will see how we can create an R program and run it into PyCharm. So let us go ahead and first I'm creating an R program. So I'm creating a summation uh, program. It is a simple function. So you see that I have created a variable A, B and then I'm creating a sum. So this is my R studio and you can see that I can get my sum now. Okay. Now you say that how can I run it into PyCharm? So for that you will have to do a certain things. So as of now, if you see that if I want to create a new file, so here if I if you see here, then you can see that I do not get any option to create an R file. Okay. So for that purpose, first of all, go to file and then go to settings. Okay. Now what will you have to do that you need to install a plugin? Okay. Let me type here R. So uh, ensure that you are not uh, on this install tab just go to marketplace and download this plugin which calls R language for IntelliJ let's get it installed and meanwhile it is getting installed so we will have to wait till that time now it is asking us to restart so do not forget to restart it okay now while it restarts uh, I will have to wait okay so let us see until it restarts and okay so i think we have it here and it is just loading some files since we have you know uh, since we have uh, downloaded a plugin so it is making the environment ready and i must say that it does take some time okay so now it shows me that welcome.md i don't want that what i want is i simply right click and i will say an R script okay so now let me uh, give it a sum let me say this is my sum okay now I have sum dot R okay let me copy my program which I created earlier so let me copy it from the R studio and uh, I have written it over here so let me put it into my program and what I'll say that okay just print my sum like this okay let me run it so I will run it like this so okay it shows me set up R, R interpreter so we will have to just select the R interpreter okay let me so see it so you see that it shows that R I have R 4.0.2 which I have installed my machine and now let me run it again so it should run now okay so we will have to do certain changes here and let us put it like this maybe it does not like that way and let me run it now so you see that now it basically runs uh, my program and it does provide me the output okay and you can similarly use uh, anything you want to do like 3 plus 8 and whatever you want to do it is basically now your R program R is ready and you can use it for your purpose okay so thank you for this video and I hope you would like this video please do not forget to like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel